Hi friends, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to make lawyer khushar kofta or a kofta curry with uh, lauki chilka or bottle gourd skin. Now this is very popular recipe in West Bengal and let us see how to make this recipe. For this first we need 2 cups of washed and uh, soaked uh, moong dal or moog dal. This is soaked for 1 and half hour and then we drain the extra water. And here I have 1 and half cup of Lauki chilka or lager khosha. Then here I have half cup of green peas. Here I have some whole garam masala. Here I have 5 to 6 small pieces of cinnamon or dalcini. Then 3 or 4 cloves or long. And then I have 3 green cardamom or choti lanchi. Here I have salt as per taste. I have half teaspoon of jeera or cumin seeds. 1 teaspoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder, 1 green chili, here I have 1 teaspoon of sugar, and then this is a medium sized piece of ginger, and then here I have ginger paste. I am taking about 1 teaspoon of ginger paste, 1 tablespoon of ginger paste. Sorry, and then here I have some chopped green chilies. I am taking 3. Chop, uh, 3 green chilies which are chopped roughly and here I have garam masala I am taking 1 tablespoon of garam masala powder here I have 2 tablespoon of cashew nuts which I coarsely just chopped roughly chopped it because I am going to make a paste out of it and then here I have about half teaspoon of uh, Kashmiri mirch powder 1 teaspoon of ghee or clarified butter and then here I have about half cup of tomato puree then here I have half cup of uh, this is coriander green coriander leaves and also we need some oil for making this recipe so friend and here also I have one fourth cup of corn flour and then here I have one tablespoon of jeera powder as well so now to start with the procedure first i made a watery paste using the corn flour and the water we will need this in the gravy as well as in the kofta recipe both so, so now friends, uh, now in a blender i'm adding the washing and drained moong dal moong dal to the blender moong dal to my blender Next, I am going to add the lauki chilka or lauki khusha to the blender kusha, as well. Is one and half cup of that. And then, then here goes the, the coriander, leaves. coriander leaves, green coriander leaves. Now I will add some chopped green chilies, add them then according to the taste. Green chilies. And here goes the adrak or, or ginger. ginger. I am going to blend it. And now I am going all of to them. make a paste out of it. For so our after blending, so I am opening the lid and you can see the smooth paste, smooth green colored paste I have. Ready. This is the thing I am going so to use for making the kofta. Move on to the next process. So now I am going now to blend in the uh, two pie. more things. This is the tomato puree and, then the, and the cashew nut. I am going to blend them. This will be used in the gravy recipe. So after blending, here I am uh, with this smooth paste of uh, tomato and cashew nut. And now I am going so to start with the recipe. First added I added about, uh, some oil. This is one and a half tablespoon of oil. So now we will wait till the oil becomes or a hot. Or non-stick pan. We can take any, any non-stick pan made. for this. Just and now after the oil is hot, so here now, I am going to add the paste. The Lauki chilka and moong dal paste which I made earlier. So after adding the paste, here I am going to add adding some salt. salt. And next thing I am going to add is some sugar. Sugar. About half teaspoon of sugar. And now I am going to mix them properly. And here you can see. 
this mixture has lot of water part because of the loki chilka and the coriander leaves as well so i will keep stirring till the mixture dries up so now the mixture so is dried up. So you can see the mixture now is dried up and it has it become smoother as well. So now I will take it out in a plate and spread it. And you can see after the mixture has cooled down a bit. Now it is a warm, little bit of warm. I am pinching off uh, some small amount of mixture from the uh, main mixture and then I am uh, flattening them in between my palms like this. And here I am going to make this elongated shaped kofta but you can also make the uh, round koftas as well. So here you can see in this way I am making all the koftas. Again I will uh, show you the procedure pinch of some mixture and then first make it a ball shaped and then uh, lightly press it and make a elongated shaped kofta. like this and after the kofta is elongated just uh, you can press both the sides and the koftas are ready so friends so now all here i made all the koftas and also i make uh, made one uh, round shaped koftas so to show you that you can uh, make both the shapes uh, uh, both the shapes are traditional and uh, 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 koftas are made in both these shapes so without worry you can make uh, these koftas or a mixture of them so now i am going to fry the koftas for that i will take one ball and then dip it in the corn flour water and corn flour mix and then i will gently add it to the hot oil so I am going to add about 5 to 6 koftas to the oil at a time but if you cannot handle all of them you can also add 2 or 3 so it actually depends on in practice so it doesn't matter you can make smaller batches as well and then you can fry all of them so I am adding this 5 to 6 so I have added 5 koftas to the oil and now what I am going to do is I am going to fry them from both the sides so I will keep turning them till all the koftas are nicely browned so that is it I am going to uh, make uh, I am going to fry them till they are browned so for that here I am taking uh, more oil so you can see the amount of oil is uh, much more because I am going to fry them in brown color like this so you can see now uh, the koftas are fried from all the sides properly so now I am going to take out the koftas from the oil and then I will reduce the amount of oil in this uh, wok and I will continue with the gravy recipe so after uh, taking out all the koftas here in the tomato and cashew nut paste first I am adding the turmeric powder then here goes the salt remember we added uh, salt in our koftas as well so keeping that in mind add salt again and now here I am adding the jeera powder cumin powder and here goes the kashmir milch powder or paprika powder now I will uh, mix them using a spoon I am going to mix all of them properly this paste will be used in the gravy so you can see now I have mixed uh, all the ingredients here So now uh, after reducing the amount of oil in which we uh, fried the koftas, in that same oil we added some whole garam masalas and some jeera. Now we fried it for about 15 to 20 seconds till all the spices become aromatic.
you can see the uh, masalas are roasted well so here i'm adding some salt uh, now this is optional i'm adding it to add color to the gravy so that the sugar is caramelized and in turn the gravy uh, becomes more rich in color so after the sugar is melted in this hot oil here you can see it has got some nice color as well so here i added the ginger paste then i am adding this mixture the paste i made earlier using tomato cashew nut and then uh, just now i added the turmeric powder jeera powder kashmir mirch powder all of them so i am adding this paste in the pan now i will start them till the uh, mixture is properly mixed actually with the oil uh, in the pan so i will stir it for about 7 minutes 7 to 8 minutes like this so you can see the moisture content has reduced and also the moisture is bubbling up this is going to evaporate so now i will add the next thing that is the corn flour so after uh, frying the koftas i had some corn flour left so i am adding that in this mixture so that the gravy becomes thick here i added some more salt for seasoning and now i added about half cup of water so i will wait till uh, the mixture again becomes thicker and friends now here in the bowl where i have the garam masala powder i added the ghee that is the clarified butter here so now i am going to mix those two things properly and then i will add it to the gravy in this way the fragrance the aroma of ghee and the garam masala will be infused well with together and this this will add to the aroma of our gravy so here I have mixed this garam masala with the ghee like this and the aroma is just so soothing and so gorgeous. So you can see the gravy is almost ready. Oils have started floating from the side of the pan. So here I added the ghee and garam masala mix to the pan. Stirring to mix them properly. We will keep it for two more minutes and here i'm adding the green peas as well so after stirring for two minutes our gravy is ready now what i did in a plate first i poured the gravy and then i just dropped the balls the kofta balls over the gravy and now you can see the uh, shahi loki chilka kofta is ready now nobody thought that a simple loki chilka which we just discussed can make this kind of yummy gravy and yummy koftas uh, friends we just discussed the loki chilkas but i will uh, request you not to do do that because loki chilkas actually contains some rare uh, nutritious ingredients so next time you uh, think of uh, discarding the loki chilkas make these yummy shahi koftas with them and friends if you like the recipe please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching